We are looking now at uh, the Chateau of Chinon, who is uh, a chateau that is uh, really destroyed uh, uh, after centuries because uh, Chinon was um, at the time around the 14th century. Chinon was the uh, capital, uh, how do you say that, capital, yeah. Yeah. Of, uh, of France and, uh, and uh, a part of UK because of a wedding uh, uh, between the UK uh, king family and uh, French king family. Uh, so Chinon was around the 14th, the capital of France. Uh, so it began to be a huge uh, town. So you can have, uh, you can see all these uh, fantastic buildings all, all around Chinon. And uh, after that, uh, they, uh, they leave Chinon to, to put the capital, uh, I think, perhaps uh, around Paris. Um, and then uh, Chinon was just, nobody else came back to, to live inside the castle. And uh, all the stones was uh, uh, stolen by people and uh, to, to build some other house. And they just begin to rebuild it, uh, a part of it, to protect and put put again a roof on it to protect it. So we have an old new castle. <laughs> this is... A and and wasn't Chino where Joan of Arc went to ask for her army? Exactly, exactly. It's uh, Joan of Arc come in, came in Chino to meet uh, the king, Charles VII. Uh, Charles VII uh, and in Chino uh, we have uh, in the castle. She came inside a big room uh, where there was lots of people, and she just finds uh, the king who was um, hidden between other people uh, because nobody nobody knows uh, the face of the king at this time. There was no television, no, <laughs> no internet. So, but she it seems that she she get a good connection with God. Yeah. And um, so, perhaps faster than internet in Chino <laughs> now. But uh, and so she recognizes uh, the the king here in Chino and ask uh, the king to 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 give her uh, to manage the army of France. And uh, yeah. you well, know all uh, of this job. story. Yeah. yeah, she 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 was a good uh, a good um, employee. <laughs> Yes, Chinon, it's a very, it's a fantastic area, <coughs> uh, full of histories. And uh, here we are just looking at the, the vineyard of Les Blancs Manteaux, which is a vineyard, um, it's called Laxat. The block is called Laxat because the Crusaders was, um, was in this is present in uh, in this hillside, and um, and we know that uh, crusaders uh, implant and uh, and um, and began lots of things with wine and um, and generally uh, bring lots of uh, of um, there was quite scientists. They, they have lots of knowledge and bring lots of uh, interesting uh, process. Uh, at this time of uh, of the wine growing and uh, wine making, so the Crusaders were hanging out in your backyard. Yes. 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 And so the name Les Blancs Moto, the, the white coats, that has stayed until today. Yes. Yes. On the cadaster, or you can find the name, and uh, it's uh, it's the name. And for us, for everybody, it's uh, it's it's uh, it's called Les Blancs Moto. It's uh, so here. It's a uh, it's a good point to see uh, lots of things uh, of the area, because um, so here from uh, from La Noble we have uh, an overview of the valley, and it's. Um, can I turn myself to? Sure. Yeah? Uh, I just want to show you uh, the the area of Chinon, how it was done. Uh, it, even not in centuries, but millions of uh, years ago. <coughs> so you can see the two um, the two plateaux in the valley. Uh, in the two sides, there is the two plateaux, and right on the middle, there is a riverbed. So we still have a small river right now, which is called La Vienne, which is a small river. 
um, but as I told, uh, tell um, millions of centuries ago, it was a very huge, huge river uh, who was going from both sides of the two plateaux here. Mm -hmm. uh, because we can have uh, find some uh, stone coming from uh, the middle of France, uh, 500 kilometers away, so in miles, uh, perhaps 300 miles something like that. Uh, so it was a very huge river who carry big stones like that. And so finally now what is interesting for us is uh, right on the middle, on the riverbed, you have lots of that kind of uh, sandy soils, grave, which make very fruity Cabernet Franc, uh, easy, uh, with very low structure. And on the two sides of the river uh, of the very old riverbed on the hillside you have uh, the chalk the, directly the mother rock the chalk the, what we call tufo here um, where all the very nice vineyard are, are planted so so la noble is on one of the highest points in the appellation yes yes so it's we're standing on on really the top of the hill here yeah yeah looking down at the valley and the other plateau. So it's uh, here you, you have uh, the estate and all around here what you can look where your eyes can put you uh, where what you can see all around here it's uh, it's the garden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the vineyard but it's our garden. So, the house dates from which century? Um, there is one part of the house from the 12th century and one part from the 15th century. Oh. It's, uh, but, and it's, I think since that, since that time it was a, a, um, a winery because we, we can find some very, very old press uh, in some caves. Uh, old vats, very interesting, very interesting. I, I can show you uh, that in the, in the cave. 